This is G-Mart and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to repair the data portion of a SATA connector on a hard drive. This is a 3 terabyte uh, Western Digital Green hard drive and uh, I'm used to building in many ITX cases. You can take a, look, a better look at it right there. Here's the broken piece right here. Snap right off the back of there. Good thing none of the pins broke. But um, I'm used to building in many ITX cases, and, and a lot of you that do build in many ITX cases might know that um, it can get a little restrictive inside, can get a little tight, so to say, uh, especially when working with your SATA cables. Um, one wrong pull of a SATA cable, especially these locking tight right here can definitely damage a hard drive uh, SATA connector. Uh, so what I want to do is just explain to you guys how I'm going to go about fixing this hard drive because in order to take the PCB off and replace it with one it would have to be uh, reflashed, it would have to be sent into possibly Western Digital or some type of um, data recovery service to get that done and I don't really feel like doing all that so I'm going to do a cheap fix right here at home uh, using this, it's like an L-shaped adapter, uh, it's a 22 pin female to male adapter right here. That's exactly what I'm going to be using to fix this. So. Uh, Without further ado, let's go on and get into the, the job. So what I did, first of all, was I took the uh, SATA cable that had originally broken the connector and I used these needle nose pliers here to slowly break back the tip of this SATA connector so that I could extract this piece right here because this piece is going to be key in fixing this drive for, for a good tight connection inside of this adapter right here. So now I have a glue gun set to high heat and this is going to be for securing this adapter onto the hard drive. So what we need to do first is take this uh, piece that broke off right here and slip it in to the data portion. There we go. Got it in there. Now, the next thing we want to do is slip this right on top of that SATA connector and make sure everything aligns good. Just like that. You see that? Let's get a close up of that. Now with that adapter secured on there, We can go ahead and take our heat gun, our glue gun, and secure the adapter in place. So I just want to take this, place it underneath, because I'm going to be gluing this in place. And mind you, this glue gun is very hot. Go along the seam and make sure to get some glue in between the adapter and the edge of the PCB here. Just pull along that whole piece. You don't want this coming loose again. 
Now give that a little bit of time to dry. Let's take a look at the dry once more. As that cools down. So there it is with the adapter installed and glued into place. Now, when I mount this in my um, my mini ITX server, it's going to be facing down this way. So this L-shaped adapter was ideal for my fix because I want my power and my um, data SATA cables to come straight down into my motherboard and uh, over to my uh, power supply. So you may need a left or right angle adapter, which they make both of these. The other one would have or face the other way. If you, however, depending on how you want to orient your hard drive in your chassis. So make sure you look at that before ordering an adapter to fix a hard drive that's broken. Now this fix can apply to either side either the power side or the data side of this SATA connector, this 22 pin SATA connector so it's really up to you and how bad your components are damaged if they're salvageable you can do this fix yourself because now now that that glue has dried this isn't coming off anytime soon I'm giving it a pretty good tug and it's not going anywhere yeah that's solid so now I've just fixed, I've just saved a Western Digital 3 terabyte hard drive from having to um, get sent out to get work done on it. And I think that is a major success. That is a major win, folks. I just saved about 150 bucks. And so that's that. I mean, that's all there is to it. Um, once again, needle nose pliers, a glue gun, possibly a little screwdriver to help with the needle nose pliers. You want this SATA adapter. It's a right angle or left angle SATA adapter depending on your application. And like I said, just glue along that seam right there. All along it. You will have no issues.